We've all heard of the dress that broke the internet. Back in early 2015, an image of a dress became a viral sensation as internet viewers began to divide mm. on the issue of the dress's color. Some claim that it appears to be blue and black, and others say that it is actually white and gold. In fact, a survey conducted at MIT concluded that of 1,410 individuals, roughly 57% of them saw blue and black, 30% saw white and gold, 11% saw blue and brown, and 2% perceived some other combination. But what is the real cause of the controversy? It may have to do with our perception of color. Maybe I see different colors than you do. Or maybe it has to do with the lighting. But before we talk about the dress, let's discuss the nature of sight and how the human brain perceives color. When light is reflected to the eye, it first passes through the lens and is refracted onto the retina. The amount of light received into the eye is controlled by a muscle called the iris, which contracts and expands to block or allow light in. Let's look at the structure of the retina to understand how light is transferred into visual signals. It's important to understand that visual light waves travel from the bottom up through the retina when they are converted into neural impulses. The first layer, being the bottom layer, is comprised of rods and cones. These photoreceptors are sensitive to different types of light, rods being responsible for the transfer of black and white light into neural impulses, and cones being responsible for the conversion of colored light. But when we look at a red apple, we cannot recognize the object until those neural impulses are processed and pieced together to form an image in the brain. The optic nerve, comprised of ganglion cells, is the structure that transports visual impulses to the lateral geniculate nucleus, the visual relay system of the brain. This region distributes the impulses through visual pathways where they can travel to the occipital lobe, the visual processing region of the brain. From here, we can easily identify the apple and its color, all within a matter of milliseconds. However, there's a lot that goes into piecing together a collection of neural impulses in order to form an image in our mind. Our brains have the ability to factor in additional situational elements in order to draw conclusions about an object or scene. Color constancy is a phenomenon that occurs within the brain that helps us to identify objects that are placed in surroundings with different variations of light. In its very basics, this phenomenon is what allows us to recognize a red apple regardless of the lighting that surrounds it, may it be daylight or artificial light. We can identify a person by their facial features regardless of the expression that they wear. This example is similar to color constancy in that we can still recognize an object even if its color is altered slightly by the light of its surrounding environment. So how might this be related to the dress? Well, let's take a step back to look at how these concepts we just learned about fit together. When we view an object like the dress, our brain is often incapable of interpreting the entire image. It compensates by relying on smaller cues to help piece together the scene. But as individuals, one person's brain may use different minor cues than someone else's, and or those same cues are interpreted differently. Amidst the several theories surrounding the dress controversy, there's a leading explanation for the internet sensation. It turns out that our interpretation of the color of the dress is due mainly to our perception of the background light. In the image of the dress, the background is simply a bright color, which creates an area of confusion mm. as to whether that light is natural sunlight or indoor lighting. This is also where the color constancy we talked about before comes in. An essential factor of color constancy is being able to determine what kind of light is illuminating an object. If we are to perceive the light as natural orange light, then the dress will likely appear to be black and blue. On the other hand, if the lighting is perceived to be artificial, blue light, then the dress appears white and gold. Here we can see that background lighting is a critical element of image perception. And understanding background light is important in a variety of scenarios. The dress was just one of the first instances where an issue of lighting was presented to the public eye. A real-world application of this occurs when photographers and videographers place a standard gray or white structure in front of their camera and then manually calibrate the camera. They do this in order to ensure that the colors are accurate. When the colors are accurate, then the images will appear the same to all viewers. But the implications of the dress extend far beyond strict real-world applications. Even though its initial impact on the general public was short-lived, the scientific exploration that the dress first sparked continues to delve deeper into our understanding of human sight, far beyond obtaining the perfect shot and perceiving the perfect color.